before Inkscape when I want to create or design real nice glass effect in an object I combine two expensive software Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator normally I start my design in the drawing board digitalize it with Adobe Illustrator and refine it then take it to the Adobe Photoshop for lining effect and shadows even though Adobe Illustrator has the capacity to create those effects I'd rather do it this way because with Photoshop the effects looks more real. Now that I discovered Inkscape, this process is history. What I do now is designing my idea in Color Painter, then refine it in Inkscape. As you see, I skipped the photo editing part because with Inkscape you can create real nice shadows and lights. And because the design is completely in vectors, I can resize it as many times as I need it without worrying about pixels creating glass effects step one first of all draw a circle using the ellipse tool and press control or command while dragging the mouse for this sample you will fill the circle with blue step two make a copy of the circle with control C or command C in Macintosh then paste in position with control alternate V command alternate V Resize it, pressing Ctrl or Command while dragging the mouse, making this circle a little bit smaller. Fill it with white. Step 3. With the Draw tool, Shift F6, create an object with curvy lines, like the one you see in the reflection of Figure 1. Try to draw the object larger than the white circle. Once the object is created, position it in the middle of the white circle just a little higher than the center. The select, then select the white circle and the object you just draw. Go to the menu and select path division or control slash command slash. This will divide the circle. You can erase the bottom and the sides, just left the top object. Step 4. With the new object selected, the cut circle, go to the very left bottom of the screen and click on the fill rectangle. This will display the fill window in the right side of the screen. Under the fill tab, you will find six main buttons. One no color, two solid color, three gradient, four radar gradients, five pattern, and six help. Select the fourth button from left to right. This will apply the radio gradient from solid color to alpha channel zero color transparency. Normally, it will apply the gradient with the color of the fill. If not, you will see a drop-down menu where you can see the gradient selected. Click on the Edit button. A window will pop up, Gradient Attributes. There you can customize the gradient. Each color in the gradient is called Stop. Remember to change the color in, the, in both stops to white or the gradient will behave strangely and maybe will not look good with the color of the main circle. Step 5. Select the gradient tool, Control F1, Command F1 in Macintosh, with the object selected. Notice that an angle will, with nodes will appear in the object. Each node represents one color. Move them as you will to see how it behaves, then you will understand how it works. Position the gradient as you like. Step 6. Now select the first object that you draw and follow step 1 and 2. Then with the rectangle tool, F4, draw a square pressing Ctrl or Command in Macintosh while dragging the mouse. As before, the new object has to be larger than the last one created. Position the top corner of the square over the top meter of the last circle created. Following the procedure in step 3, divide the object and delete the top object and the sides. Step 7. This time you will apply the straight gradient to the new object. Make the transparent area be in top of the object. Now, look at the bottom of the fill window. You will see two sliders. One of them is called blur. Slide the handle to the right about 3.5. This will give the sensation of light reflection from the floor under the object. This is the basic way to create a glass effect over an object. To obtain a full version of how to create professional glass effect, contact me. I will give you a discount on the tutorial about it.
With Inkscape, you can get amazing results without needing to process it in another software. If you want to download an example of an icon I created with Inkscape, follow the link you found in the newsletter in the article called Design Objects with Glass Effect. Thank you for hearing, have a nice day, and happy creating. I'm not afraid.